Two teams suit up and prepare for battle on the destination vacation season of Arena! Welcome once again, everyone, to Arena, the show that turns multiplayer games into competitive sport. I'm Lee Rearman, and we're continuing on this wonderful journey toward this year's Tournament of Champions, where our teams will compete at the end of this season for an all-expenses-paid week of fun in the sun. Today on Arena, we will be playing Mario Kart Double Dash, Call of Duty, and SOCOM 2 U.S. Navy SEALs. The Team Vulgar, they won their first match, but let's see if they can continue on this reign against Team... Wait a minute. Domination Creation Station Nation. But it's only a 30 minute show, so we'll just call them DCSN. Let's get right to the action and check in with Kevin, who's with everybody from both teams in the console pit. Kevin. All right, thanks, Lee. Now, today our teams will battle it out in Nintendo's version of NASCAR. It's Mario Kart Double Dash. But in these races, our players will do a lot more than just turn left. Each kart is equipped with two seats, one for a driver and one for a gunner, who can throw stuff like banana peels, turtle shells, and even the more traditional bombs. They can throw them right at their opponent. Now, we'll run two races, and the winner of the console point will be the team with the fastest time. Now, Yoshi and Luigi, start your engines. One. Mario Kart Double Dash on the Daisy Cruise. All right, looks like DCSN is in first, Lee. They're running away with this. Now, during their pre-interview, they said that they played this game for several hours, so obviously, you expect them to have the advantage, but they're doing an excellent job. We're still first. We're, We're okay. still first. This map along the perimeter of a ship. Oh, when a lightning attack shrinks DCSN, so now they're going to move a lot slower. This gives Bulger a chance to not only catch up, but if they make it there in time, they could crush them. Thanks. Thanks. Whatever. <laughs> the only thing that's going on about that team is they're playing. And they are flying down this track, Lee, in case of a tie. The fastest time will win. Excellent power slides around those corners. DCSN clearly working together as a team. The passenger on the back of the cart has to actually lean with the turn as well. But they run into a banana and trips them up momentarily, but they're right back in it. Closing in on the finish. The final lap. An excellent strategy. They get hit by a green shell. Trips them up momentarily, but they've got plenty of lead. As they, they hit their own banana coming around the turn, Volger has a final chance to catch up, but I believe it's a little impossible at this point. As they power slide for style across the finish line, round one goes to the Domination Creation Station Nation. Take them down. Domination Creation Station Nation. Two. And Daisy Cruiser, round two. Phenomenal player off to a fast start there, picking up a banana power up. Let's see if they drop that around one of these turns here. Wouldn't be the first time these players have bananas in their hands. Oh, and DCSN runs into a dining room table that's just out of control. That gives Team Vulgar a chance to catch up. Vulgar just slightly behind DCSN. Vulgar doing a much better job here, but they've got to beat the fastest time from round one, which was set by Team DCSN. Keep going, Casey. Such a, such a good thrower. Thank you. Because you're such a good thrower. Yeah, we're good. Good friend and good thrower. Between the words of encouragement coming out of DCSN and the bright color palette, I'm going to be sickly. And Team Vulgar using a boost power up, but they fall into the drink. And that's going to cost them as they waste precious moments getting reset. This gives DCSN a chance to really widen the lead. Oh, but they fell into the dark glory hole of injustice. Moments away from a victor in round two. DCSN power slides around that corner, learning from their mistakes last time. They didn't get tripped up on the wall. And they're back up top, looking ship shape at the moment. They're coming around one of the last sharp turns. This may do it. Team Vulgar dodging a green shot, but the finish line's inside. And Domination Creation Station Nation takes the round. The console point here in Mario Kart Double Dash. I'd be so embarrassed if I were them. All right, okay. bye. <laughs> So DCSN slammed into the banana a couple times, but they certainly didn't choke as their well-coordinated power slides led them to victory. Now let's check in with Stacy, who's standing with Miss Mesticles and Adam Splitter. Thanks, Kevin. Looks like they showed the reigning champs how it's done. How did you prepare for today? To prepare for today, I watched Arena every day. And can I just say, if I were Team Vulgar, I'd be so embarrassed by being beaten by three girls and B. Miss Mesticles. Anyways, let's talk about Call of Duty. 
I'm not worried about it at all. I think that Team Domination Creation Station Nation is ready to win. Well, you heard it right here. We're going to meet the rest of their team, and we're going to get reintroduced to Team Vulgar. Adam Splitter. Phenomenal player. Right hand of God. Miss Mesticles. <laughs> Our name is Domination Creation. Creation. You were, you were Creation. Creation. <laughs> Our team name is Domination. Creation. Station. Nation. Gold and I kind of brought us all together. Mm -hmm. We would play for like 12 hour stretches in high yeah. school. Yes. We're yes. definitely group gamers and we like playing games together. Yeah. We like yeah. doing yeah. things. We like the whole multiplayer aspect <laughs> yeah. of video gaming. Mm -hmm. We all sort of found Call of Duty recently and we enjoyed yeah. the multiplayer aspect of the game, the cooperative aspect. We're really Phenomenal. good at communicating with each other in terms of like, oh, I need someone over on my right, I need someone over on my left. Like I'm being shot, I'm dying. Right. That's usually what Heidi That's one says. Of our strengths. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very worried. <laughs> <I'm a threat. laughs> oh, we're supposed to be a threat. <laughs> <laughs> we think it can take them on pretty well. The four of us have taken on worse things. <laughs> yes. I heard someone snort back there. <laughs> We're big kids, you know. What we really are we all about? Yeah, we're big kids. We like to have fun. Today is the first time in 11 months that we've ever met in yep. person. Yeah. So everything's yeah. been over the phone or online. Yeah, I thought he was a chick. <laughs> <laughs> well. <laughs> we met each other on uh, SOCOM 1. Me and uh, Brent saw the clan vulgar. And we just met these guys playing every night with them. You meet online and you just, you know, be the guys that, you know, you're cool with, you get along with. Most of the time, similar styles of play, whatever. I've been watching the show about a year ago, and I'm like, oh, that'd be cool to be on Arena, so I emailed you guys, and it just, I think it would be a cool thing to do is be on TV and play the games like we love. You know, we finally get to hang out, finally get to show the world what we can do in SOCOM. Also, uh, to destroy the competition and make a mockery of them. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it looks like we might have an upset in the making as Team DCSN was unbeatable in Double Dash, but things could get ugly when Team Vulgar steps onto the battlefield in Call of Duty. Will it be destination vacation for Domination Creation Station Nation? I don't know, we'll find out when I take a breath and when we come back to the arena. Welcome back, everyone, to Arena. Now, before the break, Vulgar was virtually MIA as Team DCSN easily took the console round, but things are about to get a lot less cute and a lot dirtier as we throw our teams into Call of Duty. Let's go to Kevin in the PC ring for all the dirt, and let's get things started. All right, thanks, Lee. Call of Duty now. It's a squad-based shooter that drops players into the European theater of World War II. The game mode is headquarters, where the objective is to capture and defend a randomly placed radio. Today's map is Ship. It's a floating fortress with multiple levels. Now the sniping potential is high, but the teams cannot ignore the close corridors of the ship's interior. Let's see if these squads can utilize a balanced strategy in Call of Duty. One. And Call of Duty underway, the Allies, and ironically the Axis, which is Team Vulgar, oh! immediately find the radio, Kevin. Well, they spawned, the headquarters. they spawned right on top of the radio. Lee, you'd think they're playing on the Titanic with the, the cries that are coming out of Team DCSN. Sounds like the ship's going down. DCSN has the role of the Allies. I couldn't even get the intros out because Team Vulgar got the radio so quickly. A lot of chatter, though, which is exciting and to Ms. watch. Miss Mesticles takes out the bad lieutenant. I killed the bad lieutenant. Nicely done. Don't mess with me, OK? <laughs> Little smack talk. I think that was smack talk but he better start concentrating on fighting that radio. And the Axis score another 45 points here in round one of Call of Duty. They keep scoring points though. We need the radio. Where is the radio? It's in the ship, okay? I, I can't, I, I'm army of one, army of one. Miss Mesticles definitely defy the don't ask, don't tell theory. 
And Bad Lieutenant takes out the right hand of God. Ben, where are you at? DCSN is three strong as they search frantically for the radio. You've got to wonder what's going through the mind of Team Vulgar, Lee. And an additional 45 points, Kevin. It's a route, if not colorful. Bad Lieutenant takes out another member of DCSN. Bad Lieutenant can take out his member anyway. And more smack talk of a unique fashion from DCSN, Kevin. Right above me. Ah! Oh, and Neo, with an excellently placed shot, takes down Adam's You go up there. I'll go down here. Ah. Should we be backing each other up here? We should be finding the radio. <laughs> I'm trying, okay? Apparently the big circular indicator on the compass isn't enough to guide them towards that radio, Lee. Go in the ship. Get the, you have to get, go in the ship. You have to get the radio. Radio, radio. Is this a radio? Ow! Is this a radio? I'm shooting it. I got one in front of me. Ah, I make shot at! Good night. And round one comes to a disturbing finish, Lee. Good job, good job. Shut up. We were doing so good in the beginning. I totally killed him. Two. Round two up and running. Let's see if Team DCSN can fare any better here, Kevin, because round one was all vulgar and the axis. OK, I'm totally shooting this guy. Somebody back me up. Back. Die, you freak. Telling it like it is, Miss Masticle takes down oh, Freak to Team Vulgar. Yeah, I'm over here, too. Now three on four, and Adam Splitter takes a headshot from Docafall. I'm all business today, baby. Teams are even as they both search frantically for the radio, Lee. Same spot, same spot. And it looks like Docafall is right on it. Team Vulgar, the Axis has the radio as established headquarters and now can begin racking up points. Ah, I killed someone. Go, Heidi, go. Ah. God gets taken out. And the Axis score 45 here in round two of Call of Duty. Does that mean one of them has the radio? They have it, yeah. Well, we'll go kill the person that has it. Where is that person? They're so wormy. You guys are wormy. Right hand of God inside the belly of the ship, searching for that radio, which is on top of the ship, towards the back. Shut up! Is he giving us help? <laughs> I'm sorry. Who are you? Who are you? Me, I see you. I see you. You're down. You're going down. Who's getting shot? He's going down! That smack talk, somewhat uh, unpolished, if not very entertaining. Oh, and Masticles takes him down. Shoot. The phenomenal player gets dropped, Ow. taking a shot to the beanbag. Again, it is all Team Vulgar, but what an exciting round here. Muzzle flash is a bound as Freak runs away from the firefight. Phenomenal player, scraping out into the open, gets dropped down. And Freak takes some fire and gets dropped. <laughs> My bad. I'll get you back. And late in the game, Team Vulgar decides to turn on each other, finally get some competition. And a carbon copy of round one, Kevin round two, 270 for Vulgar as the Axis. A big goose egg for our good friends, DCSN. You guys play, I'm gonna take a nap. Three. And round three underway, Kevin, it's all academic pretty much, barring some kind of a freakish point total flurry. Oh, and Neo stalking a member of Team DCSN, takes him down with a pistol. I sense that the allies in uh, DCSN have decided to pretty much just cash this in and enjoy their, their tour of the ship. Oh, it's destination vacation here on Arena League. Eat it, punk face. And Mesticle's trying to intimidate his opponents into submission. Yeah, punk oh. face, that's gonna oh. intimidate him a lot. That headquarters haven't been established by the Axis Team Vulgar. Mesticle's frantically searching for a man in uniform. And Freak drops down, takes a little damage. Yeah, Adam Splitter. Successful. Neo successfully defends the radio. Where's the radio? Let's keep an eye on Team Vulgar to see if they sweep all three rounds with a point total of 270 to nothing, Kevin. Yeah, oh, no, I'm my, jumping. Oh, I just killed myself with a jump. And right hand of God oh, takes a leap of God. faith <laughs> and comes crashing down to her own death. The and the Axis score 45. Back with the right, where's the, where's the locker room here in the set? And for the first time in many arena episodes, Lee, I'm absolutely speechless. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, and a little friendly fire breaks out between Neo and a teammate. And Adam Splitter takes down Freak. I finally killed somebody. I killed Bad Lieutenant. And Phenomenal player takes down Bad Lieutenant. But Neo comes to his rescue. And Phenomenal is taken out of the round. And reinforcements spawn. The Axe has earned themselves another 45. Oh, someone please shoot me in the throat. They can drive cartoon cars, but they sure cannot play this game. That'll do it for Call of Duty.
I think I'm the MVP. Hey, how do you think we're gonna do on the SoCal game? Well, Miss Mesticle certainly talks smack like a macho man, but he and his entire team seem to be a little confused as to which team they're even playing for. This round was all vulgar as they stuck to their game plan and emphatically took the two points in the PC round. Now let's go to Stacy, who's standing by with Team Vulgar's Neo. Thanks, Kevin. Neo, Miss Mesticle said you guys should be embarrassed after round one. Now's your chance to respond. Oh, no, we're not embarrassed at all. I mean, they knew everything about a game with uh, turtle shells and flowers and stuff, but they don't know anything about a game with guns, apparently. So you're not at all worried about the next round? Absolutely not. All right, Lee, we're going to see if these guys can make it two for two today. I don't know. Speaking of embarrassed, I've got to get embarrassed by this whole show so far. So, DCSN talked the talk, but had a little trouble walking the walk as Vulgar scored the hat trick with three shutout rounds and Call of Duty. Now, while our teams prepare for their next battle in SOCOM 2, you can head to our website at g4tv.com slash arena where you can read player profiles and sign up to get your team on our show. Our final showdown in SOCOM 2 is coming up after this on Arena. Welcome back, everyone, to Arena. Now, so far, Team DCSN has proven that they can hurl turtle shells with the best of them, but it's obvious that Vulgar is much better with machine gun shells, and that could be the difference as we head into our deciding game, SOCOM 2. So, let's go to Kevin to see who moves on towards destination, vacation, and some seashells. Kevin! Thanks, Lee. Our third and final game is SOCOM 2 U.S. Navy SEALs. Now, before the show, a coin flip determined that Team Vulgar will be the SEALs and Team DCSN will be the opposing force. Now, the mode is extraction where the SEALs must infiltrate their opponent's stronghold and rescue a group of hostages. Today's map is Desert Glory, a multi-level sprawl that features plenty of natural cover. So let's get to the action and see what happens in SOCOM 2 U.S. Navy SEALs. One. And Team DCSN, as the opposition, will have the hostages in their possession. And Team Vulgar, as the SEALs, had their work cut out for them, Kevin, but... And right off the bat, Lee, a firefight breaks out as Bad Lieutenant takes some damage, but manages to take down phenomenal player. Bad Lieutenant also takes down Adam Splitter. And the right hand of God is taken down as well. But at least one member of DCSN has managed to secure a hostage, it seems. Oh, I got killed. Oh, 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 you oh, all. Oh, I gotta make sure. I gotta make sure he's dead. Oh, Lee. And he's just plugging him while he's down for good measure. I'm voting to remove somebody. <laughs> this round is over. It's all seals. It's all team vulgar. Damn, see, that's on him, dude. Added gunfire to accentuate the moonwalk. And round one comes to a startlingly quick finish. What are they doing right now? Dan, see, Dan's on him, dude. You know what to do. Two. Team DCSN frantically searching for the turtle shells on this map, Lee. And let's see if round one was a fluke or if DCSN can continue to show such poor performance. Watch out, Dunk, watch out. Grenade, grenade, grenade. And Freak takes out Phenomenal Player. Where are they? And then Adam Splitter takes down Bad Lieutenant. Oh, oh, oh. I'm looking at the wall. I'm dead. I'm, I'm dead. the only one alive. Go hide it. Go hide it. 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 Bodies are flying everywhere, but nothing's being accomplished. Sounds like my bachelor party. Man, I know. Hey, can we play against each other? Come on, sweetie. Hey, hang us, everybody. Hang us. Hey, where's the dead body at? We're on dance. Three hostages have been rescued, or at least secured. Let's see if a member of DCSN can manage to actually rescue them. And uh, no, the answer's no, Lee. That was a quick answer. And there we go again. The round is over. And we thought Call of Duty was a blowout, Kevin. So come to has proven no different. And Vulgar stomping all over his enemy's body, doing a little tap dance. And round two is over in just a matter of milliseconds. We may be on, some, on the verge of some record here, Kevin, as far as brevity of roundage. I thought for sure we were going to win with you so long. I'm so like. <laughs> Three. The third and all indications say the third and, and, and probably final round here. Yeah, I'm coming around, I'm coming around. And Team Vulgar not even worried about the hostage. They just throw frag grenades right off the bat and take out half the members of Team DCSN. Phenomenal player running low on health. He gets into a firefight. Not able to fend off Bad Lieutenant who takes him down quickly. Bad Lieutenant decides to celebrate a little bit, maybe prematurely, but probably not. A little moonwalk action. They're going for style points, Lee. 
Neo clears the musky tunnel. He's now out in the open. Adam Splitter gets taken down by Freak. They're looking for Miss Mesticles. I believe she's the only remaining member of the opposition, correct? And uh, two hostages have been rescued. A third one will be rescued momentarily unless Mesticles can make something happen. They're down there. The hostages are down there. Well, what am I supposed to do? They're going to kill me. And the Seals are victorious. Team Vulgar sweeps. Three straight rounds of SOCOM 2 with minimal effort, but a ton of style. And Miss Messicles decide that no more embarrassment necessary, and he hits the highway. Bye. What a super round. That'll do it. That was quick. Good job, good job, good job. Good stuff, good job. I'm coming back tomorrow, coming back tomorrow. All I have to say is the Mario Kart. <laughs> yeah. Mario what? Yeah. Mario yeah. who? Yeah, that, 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 that's a game my nine and ten year old left. <laughs> that's for kids. Well, after seeing what happened in Call of Duty, it was a foregone conclusion that Vulgar was going to win this round. But I think even Vulgar themselves were surprised at how quickly things ended as the rounds were over almost before they even started. So with their dominance in our last two games, Team Vulgar will move on to the next challenger as they win the match and copies of the games on today's show. And securing MVP honors with his top-notch performance in SOCOM 2 is Team Vulgar's freak. Let's go to Stacy, who's standing by with the MVP and our winner. <laughs> Freak, come on down here. Congratulations, it's your first MVP. How are you feeling? Hey, my last, I'm feeling good. Ooh, right on. Uh, and talk about your performance. Not just uh, run and gun, but mostly my teammates. No, he's not there, he's alive. Watch out, grenade, grenade, grenade. <laughs> down. Oh, you're so humble. <laughs> Congratulations, we look forward to having you and your teammates, Team Vulgar. They'll be back and go for a third win and they'll try and get into the Hall of Champions. But right now it's time to check in with Lee, our pretty Polynesian princess. Well, just call me the MVP, the most valuable palm tree. Now after a promising start in our first game, DCSN showed anything but domination once we put them on the battlefields of Call of Duty and SOCOM 2. So Team Vulgar lives to see another day, although my career might be over as they move closer to the fun of the sun of Destination Vacation, one frag at a time. We'll see if they can keep it going next time on Arena.